And yeah, maybe if I keep my mouth open while I'm talking, we will get to see more of what the tongue is doing. And I always just love ending with a little cheek puff, and uh, we'll see how all this goes. Neat, yeah. Hey folks, Alex Gulam here. Just thought it'd be fun to break down a little bit of how I did this comparison of MetaHuman Animator versus Live Link Face. So I've got the Live Link Face app open, and I'm actually just grabbing the Live Link Capture uh, from Sequencer in Unreal, just playing on my monitor. And while I'm playing it back, that's how I'm getting my data. And so then I bring that back over into Unreal, and then I set up a sequence that has uh, basically the two data tracks side by side, MetaHuman Animator on the left, and live link face on the right. So what I'm gonna do is I'll zero out the uh, head rotation just to make this as much of an apples to apples comparison as possible. And then I thought it'd be a little bit useful to look at this slowed down so we can see a little bit of the improvements that MetaHuman Animator is making. So first of all, notice that on the right, live link face just does these little tongue flicks. And that is uh, you know, not as accurate. The tongue is basically binary in or out. And then just notice how much more subtle the expressions are with the mouth on MetaHuman Animator. It just moves into a lot more shapes. The teeth and the lips come together in a much more natural way. Um, even the eyes just seem to have much more of a variety of expressions. The mouth also distorts in much more interesting ways, a lot more asymmetrically. And there's like little micro expressions, little twitches of, of the lip and the cheek that come through on the left. And whenever you spot that tongue, just notice that the tongue is actually going into all sorts of wild shapes. Uh, I'll have another video soon where you'll be able to see just a close up of just how much detail is happening in the tongue, but even from a distance um, outside of the mouth, so to speak, it's pretty easy to see that there's a lot more useful things happening there. And it's just nice to not have a, a tongue that just flicks out from the mesh of the teeth anymore. Uh, also take a look at the eyebrows. The eyebrows also do a lot more on the left than they do on the right. So between the wave file and the depth capture and everything that MetaHuman Animator is able to do with machine learning, you can see that we're just, I want to say, making our way well out of the uncanny valley in terms of a natural performance uh, that you can basically get for free if you have an iPhone. And this is all very exciting to me. Anyway, I hope this is useful and we'll be talking much more about this soon, especially once I start putting all this into virtual reality. Cheers, folks. Have a good day.